why is it that we don't trade with each other? Something that simple, we are unable to accomplish it because when you go to that boardroom table with a colonized mind, your thinking is colonized, the outcome is colonized, it is sickening. Even as I sit here, speaking as an ambassador, but also speaking as an African, to see the obvious situations, a brick that needs to be moved from point A to point B. Well, guess what? It's got to go all the way to Z and then back before it gets to B. What is wrong with this picture? It goes back to the mind. The African mind must change. We need more people like this young man here. Because what is happening in Africa today is unacceptable. We can't take care of ourselves. We have the largest arable land on the continent and yet in some countries we are importing food. I sit in some meetings, I will be very honest with you, I am embarrassed when you look at the things that we are doing as Africans. It's unacceptable. So yes, at the African Union level, we are talking about regional and continental integration. The buzz is there. We all know what needs to be done in order for Africa to move forward. I know there are others who talk about corruption. Oh yes, we know. We got corruption within the country. But while we are working on corruption within our continent, we must also ask for that, cor that corruption that has always been there, that, that is coming from our side. Because that's another corruption that nobody is talking about. They all make it look like, oh, corruption in Africa. Yes, we have corruption, but there's even more corruption coming from outside. I mean, some of you, if you ever have the opportunity to fly low uh, above DRC or some of the Central African countries, you'll find tarmacs in the middle of the jungles. Those are the things I'm talking about nobody ever talks about. Flight 737s are flying right into the jungles of DRC, picking up the minerals and flying right mm -hmm. out. In the areas of the Kasai, nobody can get to. Who is talking about those things? Nobody. There is so much more of that corruption. I was a tourist in Kimberley, South Africa, and flights were flying in and flying out, and, and I thought I was at the international airport. I asked our tour guide, I said, I didn't realize Kimberley, South Africa, has an international airport. She said, oh, no, no, no. These are pl planes coming out from outside to pick up the minerals. I'm like, what? Where are they going with the minerals? It's our London Stock Exchange. I'm like, wow. So how does South Africa, how does this all work? Is it oh, no, 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 they get royalties. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the monster in the room. So while we try to work on international, I mean regional and continental integration, those outsiders with ulterior motives are coming in quietly, creating conflicts. If you look like these Africans are beginning to get it together, next thing you know, there's an uprising, there's conflict here. We too, the Africans, must now wake up and smell the coffee and see what is being done to us and stop it in its tracks. And that's what we are doing from the African Union now. Right.